looking at um, some examples here, um, so let's suppose we had some directions that told us to set up a definite integral that gives the area of the shaded region. Okay, in which case they provide you with a function and then they provide you with a picture of that function. All right, so this function is in terms of x. So when I run my um, limits of integration, they're going to be along the x-axis. So this shape goes from 0 to 3 along my x-axis. So I know my integral is going to run from 0 to 3. All right, then always comes the function and then a dx. So my function is in terms of x and it's an x plus 2 and then I add the dx, my variable of integration. Okay, so um, just simply setting up that definite integral from given a function and, a, and the picture. Okay, trying to get you used to this idea of the area under a curve. All right, for the second example, let's say my function is f of x equals square root of 4 minus x squared. All right, they provide you with the picture. Okay, so again, my function is in terms of x, all right, so I'm going to be looking along my x-axis for my limits of integration. I'm going to run this from negative 2 to 2, and then the function itself is the square root of 4 minus x squared, and my variable of integration there is a dx, okay? Now, um, this, if you recognize this and, and better than my hand-drawn shape here, this is definitely a semicircle. Okay, so this picture is supposed to be drawn symmetrical to the y-axis. So you could think of this one as just covering up that second half. Since it's symmetrical on both sides, I really could just focus on one side. All right, I could run my integral from 0 to 2 and then multiply it by 2. All right, that would just be another um, option you could for setting up that definite integral. So I could run my integral from 0 to 2. All right, I'm going to multiply the whole entire thing by 2. I still have to put the function in there, so square root of 4 minus x squared, and then dx. Okay, this works because it's symmetrical, and I am all above this whole entire picture. is totally above that x-axis. Everything is positive here, so this works. Okay. Now, in this last example, uh, we're not always going to have our function defined in terms of x. All right, the farther you go into calculus, the more you're going to see some of your functions defined um, as a function of y. So we'll do one like this. All right, let's say I've got f of y, and that's equal to y minus 2 quantity squared. All right, so it turns out to be a sideways parabola. All right, now on this one, all right, my function's in terms of y. All right, so when I want my limits of integration, I'm going to need to make sure that I look on my y-axis. All right, so the highest point here in this little shaded region, I would be running from 0 to 2 on my integral. All right, the function, which is in terms of y, would be a y minus 2 quantity squared, and then my variable of integration, since I'm doing everything off the y-axis, the equation is in terms of y, then I would have a dy right there. All right, and um, this actually, you know, if you haven't worked with a lot of equations in terms of y, will be a little confusing to begin with, all right, but then after you get used to it, then it should go pretty smoothly. But the deal is here, these are your limits of integration from y, the equation is written in terms of y, and your variable of integration here is a dy. Okay, um, so there's three examples of just kind of setting up that definite integral, um, looking at that air shaded area so you can make that connection between the definite integral and the area under the curve. All right, now if we wanted to look at um, another set of examples here, something different that they could do, just continuing to play around with the idea of the definite integral being the area under a curve. They could tell you to sketch a region whose area is given by the definite integral. All right, then use a geometric formula to evaluate the integral. Okay, so we'll just do a couple examples here. Um, let's suppose they give you the integral that runs from 0 to 3 of 2x dx. Okay, so then the first thing you're going to want to do is sketch the region. All right, this is a straight line. Okay, so you're going to kind of want to probably sketch it somewhat accurately here. Let's see, it would go through 0, and I'd have a slope of 2 on this. So up 2 over 1, up 2 more, and then over 1 more. And then how far do you have to go? Well, I've got to run from 0 to 3, so there's 1, there's 2, I've got to go again. That would be 6 over to 3 there. All right, so 
not a bad, too bad of a picture there. All right, and the region would be this region in here. Okay, so I've shaded in the region showing where that region would be. All right, so there's my sketch showing where the region would be. And then it says to use a geometric formula to um, evaluate that integral. Okay, well, it clearly is a right triangle. All right, so I can just use the one-half base times height for my area. All right, so one-half base times height. Um, let's see, my base here would be a base of three, and my height would be a height of six. Okay, so 18 divided by two is going to give me nine there. All right, um, on this one, hopefully you would recognize that that is a semicircle. If not, you could probably use a graphing calculator, put it in there, get the general idea. This will be a semicircle with a radius of 5. Okay, so if I'm going to do a rough sketch. All right, let's go over and make our radius negative 5, 5, 5. All right, so somewhat of a semicircle there. Shaded region right in there okay now um, half of a circle so I can use the geometric formula of the area of a circle and take half of it all right so area of a circle pi r squared so I could do one half of pi r squared as my geometric formula there okay so one half we'll go ahead and just leave pi as pi this has a radius of 5 so 5 squared will be a 25 Okay, no real reason to simplify that too awful much. We could just say 25 pi over 2. Okay, so I used the idea of a ge geometric formula here to calculate that um, integral. All right, so they're just doing that um, now early on because you don't know very many techniques to actually evaluating those definite integrals yet. So um, just a few examples there and some theorems to get you thinking about this definite integral as the area under a curve. Uh, if you liked the video, go ahead and give me a like. Um, be sure and share with your friends, and definitely thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.